So welcome back guys to We Talk Boxing. And today I'm going to be talking about Chris Eubank Jr. And what I feel that he should potentially go and do next in terms of his boxing career. So as always guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and help us grow, keep growing this channel even further. So that way we could continue putting out a lot more content as well. And it helps me as well because obviously I will hopefully develop and improve on um, obviously my commentating a little bit more as well. But anyhow, let's get to Chris Eubank Jr. So, Chris Eubank Jr., um, currently, as of today, near enough May, near the end of May, give or take, um, there's currently no confirmed um, bout for Chris Eubank Jr. He has no fights planned, nothing scheduled. Um, no talks of him going up against or maybe challenging any, any fighters currently. Um which is quite shocking, really, because he hasn't fought now since, obviously, September in 2023. Um, and that last fight was obviously a good performance against um, Liam Smith. He, he obviously got his revenge um, and they've done it in style as well, which is quite good to see. It's always good to see when you you obviously suffered a quite a demoralising defeat to then come back and beat your opponent within the same year as well. Um, and as I said, he done it in style. Um, and he looked a lot good it, during that fight because obviously he teamed up with Bo Mack as well at the time. And uh, whether or not that relationship's continuing, I don't really know because we haven't really heard anything from Chris Eubank Jr. since that um, that victory. Um, but yeah, in terms of his current promotional company or manager, etc., I feel as if he's a free agent now. Um, that's what I have heard in the background. So determine like depends on who he's going to sign with and um, will maybe i guess determine who he potentially look to be to be fighting um obviously there's prior to the Liam smith rematch there was talk about um connor ben feel as if that fight for now is probably dead in the water however and the reason why i'm saying that is because connor ben obviously is uh is banned again so he technically, at this present moment in time, can't fight. Um, I'm not sure if that's just in the UK or, or if that is global. I'm not too sure. If it is just in the UK, then obviously you can't have no fight team in the UK. But if it's something that Conor Ben can potentially fight, let's say in Saudi or in America or something, um, maybe Chris Ruban Jr. might, you know what I mean, he might consider that fight abroad with Conor Ben because at this stage in Chris Eubank's Chris Eubank's career, he is 34 years of age, currently 33 and 3, so, you know I mean, he suffered three losses in his career. Um, he's probably just in it now for the, the big money blockbuster fight, you know what I mean, he wants to get paid as much money as he can um, until he retires, because realistically, he's 34, he's not active, he's inactive, if you kind of look at his, um, him really, you know, I know he had two fights last year, but... Prior to that, he only had one in 2022. So I'd say he's more on the inactive side because he's not doing much. Um, so I'd probably say he's just looking for the big blockbuster fights and um, whichever fights they are, which ones potentially will pay him the most. And at this present moment in time, I would say the Conor Ben one would pay him the most. If he could maybe somehow, I don't know how, entice Canelo Alvarez into the ring, that would be a big money fight for him as well. Um, but if he doesn't look to maybe try and go for one of these two fights that I've mentioned, then should he maybe consider trying to take on one of the world champions in his weight division? I feel as if the answer should be yes, because to to not become a, a full-fledged world champion before you retire, especially for someone like Chris Eubank Jr., I feel as if that would be a kind of a crime because he is good. He is he, he is a good fighter, especially when he turns up and he's motivated and he wants to, um, you know what I mean, to, to win. He is a very good fighter, but to, to not become a world champion, I think that would be a crime in my, in my opinion. That's my opinion. You guys can let me know your thoughts on that. But currently, in the middleweight division, obviously the world champions, you've got Janabek, and you've got a Carlos Adams and Enes Landy, Lara as well. We know about Lara. Lara's been around for a while. Um, out of those three champions, I'd say that... I don't know a lot about the Adams guy. Adams, whatever his name is. But I'd say that Lara would probably be a good one to go for. Only because he's more on the older side. Um, and I feel as if Chris Eubank Jr. might be able to 
to do something against the Lara. Um, I'm not saying he'll beat him, but I'm saying that he's got a, probably a better chance of beating him. As I said, the Adams guy, I don't know a lot about him. And Yanabek, I've seen him fight. He's a bit of a monster, to be, to be fair. He's probably so, he's probably one of them, the, the, the champions I'd say for Uban to probably stay away from just in this present moment in time. Um, especially because it won't be a big money fight. He won't get paid a lot for that fight. So there's no point risking it for a biscuit, as they say. But yeah, certainly the other two champions, yeah, probably go up against. But I'd say Lara will be my pick. Um, if he's not looking to try and become a world champion, then he could potentially do like a a big, sorry, a big British clash. Um, Hamza Shiraz, obviously, he's fighting on the five v five. He's been calling out um, Chris Eubank Jr. And currently, where these two are ranked, um, WBO Hamza's one, Eubank's two. WBC, Hamza's two, Eubank's three. So they're quite closely matched in terms of their rankings. And in, 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 in Britain, you know what I mean, that could potentially sell out a half-decent arena. I'm not saying it would sell out at Wembley, but um, they'll probably be able to sell out a fairly decent-sized um, arena. And they probably will get paid quite handsomely as well because it would be, um, depending on who Eubank signs with, obviously Frank for Hamza. And let's say if... Uh, Eubank signs with Eddie, then it'd be Frank v Eddie sort of thing. So yeah, it'd be interesting. But my 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 thoughts is that if Eubank's not looking to to probably like cash in and go for the big blockbuster paydays against maybe a Conor Ben abroad or a Canelo Alvarez, if he could entice him into the ring, then. I would love him to try and become a world champion, try and take him one of the lesser world middleweight champions just to be just to get that belt, have it to accolade and and then vacate it if you need to. Um and then have the big big blockbuster fights. Other than that, um as I said, you've got here in the UK you've got the big British clash between him and Hamza. I think that would that would do good numbers um, here in the UK and there'd be a lot of interest there. So that's just my thoughts. Um, it'd be good to see him back in the ring this year, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, he's he's a, a character in terms of boxing and he's, he's got a good fan base as well. So yeah, let's hopefully we could maybe see him out, I don't know, it's August, September times. I think that'd be good. Um, and then maybe towards the end of the year, who knows really, but... I think the way he's going at this moment in time, he's probably only going to be looking to have one fight this year um, and then maybe start up again next year. But anyway, let me know your thoughts, guys. And as always, please subscribe and comment. Bless. Mm -hmm.